guys, my name is Sam. I'm a peer leader at the CMHA, and today we're going to be working on an origami craft. So just to let you guys know, unfortunately today we aren't doing the butterfly origami. Uh, I had some computer issues, so today we're going to be making a different craft uh, called the fortune teller origami craft. So this one here, uh, it's pretty interesting because you can decorate this however you want. You can use shapes, numbers, colors. Um, it's really, really up to you on how you guys decorate this and the creativity that goes in behind it. Um, generally this craft it just kind of opens and closes and as you open it up, there's going to be some fortunes inside. So for this craft today, you're going to need some materials. Uh, this is a Bristol board paper. Um, you're definitely welcome to use this if you have it. Uh, it went into making this purple uh, one here. It is a little bit stiffer, it's a little bit easier to control. Um, it's just a little bit tougher to fold and all you really need for this one is just a, a sharpie of some sort. You don't really need to color this one in. Um, but today we're just going to be focusing on using regular white printer paper um, and going ahead and having a decorated version. So some other materials that you're going to need today are some scissors, permanent marker, and some pencil crayons to decorate with. So first up, we have to start with a square, uh, as we do in most of our origami videos. So I'm going to show you how to do that quickly. So you're going to take the upper right corner of your printer paper, and you're going to fold it down along this line, so that way these two lines, um, this side and this side, uh, meet up evenly. So you're going to fold it down right up until this top corner here meets equally. Once it does and you've got your triangle, you're just going to flatten it out. So I like to flatten this part out with my nails. If you don't have nails long enough to do this, feel free to just use a pencil crayon to run along those lines to flatten them out. So now what we're going to do is take this upper corner here uh, and we're going to fold it down to the lower right corner. So once you've got that lined up, I'm just going to go ahead and flatten out that crease line again. So now we have this thing at the bottom here. We don't need this extra piece of paper. Uh, so now you're going to take your scissors and just trim that off. that off uh, you can just take this and you can either recycle it or use it in another craft totally up to you but we don't need it for this project today so you're going to open up your origami triangle here right up into the full square and you're just going to flatten it out so the creases that we've made when we were folding the triangles, you're going to see that there's a little cross point in the center here. You're going to use that as your guide um, to when you're folding these next few steps. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to take each one of the four corners on this square and you're going to fold them inwards into this middle uh, cross section to make a smaller square. So it's going to look like this. Take that corner, you're going to fold it down right into that point and you're just going to flatten it out. So I like to turn uh, the square as I work with it. It just makes it a little bit easier to fold. And the other thing about this is that they don't need to be lined up uh, too perfectly. It's not going to affect the craft too much if it's not um, absolutely perfect. All right, so now that we have all of the corners folded inwards, they all meet at the center there. Um, what you're gonna do now is you're going to face all of those down towards the table. So we're gonna flip it and put it down. So now we have another cross section here in the shape of a plus sign. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did on the front, and we're gonna fold all four corners into the center until we get a smaller square. It's gonna look like this. Line it up, go ahead and just flatten those out. Rotating it and doing it again. So you're going to do this with all four points on each corner. Um, 
and just making sure that they're lined up. All right, so now you have your origami square again, and all of these points are going into this middle now. So what we're gonna do now is make sure it's not facing like a diamond. We're gonna make sure it's a square in front of us. We're gonna take the bottom two corners, and we're just gonna fold the entire paper craft in half right up to the other two corners, and we're gonna make sure that we flatten that out really, really well. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open it back up, we're gonna spin it uh, one turn to either the left or the right, just as long as you have a square again. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do the exact same thing, fold the paper craft right in half and flattening it out. All that's doing is it's just defining the, um, the creases in your fortune teller. It's just gonna make movement a little bit easier later. So now that we have this, uh, the craft looking like this, what we're gonna do is there's these little flaps on the outside here. Um, what we're gonna do is try to get our fingers inside those little um, clasps there, right up into the top. And we're gonna do the same with the other ones here. And as you do this, the craft's gonna start taking shape. So it's gonna meet up into the center and you're gonna get this interesting half triangle, half square shape. So the way that you hold this craft is by taking your hand and you're gonna face it almost like a claw. So in the bottom, you're going to put your thumb on one side and your fingers in the other. So your fingers are gonna go in one hole, your thumb's gonna go in the other, and it's gonna be the exact same for the other side. So that's how you're gonna hold the craft. That's going to allow you to do the movement of opening, closing, opening, and closing in both directions. So now that your craft looks like this, it's entirely up to you on how you're gonna decorate them. Um, all you have to do is just fold the craft back down into a square to be able to decorate all of these pieces. Um, you can decorate the openings on the outside. So for this one here, what I did was I de decorated the outside squares using um, shapes. You can get creative, you can use numbers, colors, anything that you want. Um, and on the inside, I went ahead and just got creative, colored it in, I added a couple colors, a couple numbers. Um, so the fun part about this craft is that the reason why it's called a fortune teller is because as you go through the motion of um, picking out your colors and your numbers, eventually you're going to get to a point where you can open the craft up and you'll have a spot where you can write out a fortune um, or whatever you really want to write in there. Uh, it could be a compliment. Maybe you're using this as a way, you know, maybe you're having a rough day and you think, man, I really can't decide what I want to do today for self-care. Maybe under e each flap you want to write um, something to do that day for a self-care activity. Maybe going for a walk or lighting a candle and having a bath. So the possibilities are really endless. You guys can uh, create these however you'd like. Uh, especially with the white printer paper, they're really, really easy to get creative with. Um, you can make them easy, you can make them harder, uh, more personal. Um, you can even make mini ones. <laughs> it just depends on the size of the square that you have, uh, and these are also workable too. So for this one here, uh, the way that you would use them is you would get your hands in position. For mine in particular, I would have to pick a shape to start. So I'm gonna pick a star. So you just spell it out, S-T-A-R. And all you're doing is alternating back and forth uh, between the motions. And then now you have a chance to pick a number. So I'm gonna pick seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we've got colors. So I'm gonna pick pink. P I N K, and now I can pick a color again. So on this second time, uh, picking out a color, this is where you would flatten the craft and open up under the color that you've picked, and it would read your fortune. So I wrote in here, something good will happen today. So definitely get creative with it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, 
definitely please put down in the comments below if you can take a picture of your origami craft share it with me uh, let me know what ideas you've used are you putting self-care techniques in are you putting compliments um, fortunes let me know uh, just like to say thank you guys so much for crafting with me today and I really look forward to having you guys around for our next uh, origami session so thank you very much enjoy your weekend folks